What's going on guys? Welcome to the video. Let's get right into this. And today we're going to be playing with a, well, we're playing on TCG Pocket, Pokemon TCG Pocket, but we're also going to be playing with an electric type deck. And before we get into this video, I tried doing a Machamp deck both on my main account and now I'm on the, my second account. That's why the name is different. Um, but I was trying for so long just to do a Machamp deck to have fun, but it's just so bad. It's just, <laughs> I hate Machamp. I don't know if it's just, I have, I had horrible draws in six battles in a row where I was never able to get Machamp up because nothing ever came to me. And so I'm not doing that ever again. No Machamp videos are ever going to come out on this channel. It's just going to be other videos. But today it's an electric type deck. And right now they have a Pikachu, I have a Voltorb, and a Blitzel. They have a Zapdos, and I have a Voltorb and a Blitzel. <laughs> so it's not looking great for us right now, but there are chances that we can come back into this one. Uh, we have two Pokeballs, so that's at least nice. We can try and draw for something good. There is our Zapdos EX. And what can we get from this other Pokeball is the question. Let's see it. A Blitzel! So, we, it's not the thing that we wanted. What we would have wanted was a Pikachu, but this is still workable. We can still work until we get a Pikachu out. So, we're just going to put an energy on this Voltorb for now, because we want to keep Zapdos in the back to keep it as healthy as possible, because Zapdos is actually fully death, death by electric types. So, it is very scary to put out in front to take any kind of damage. Um... And yeah, so we're just waiting to see what this guy will do. He plays another Pokeball, and what does he get? Not gonna play it. Oh, he is. All right, Zapdos. All right, so he has two Zapdos in the back, which, remember, two Zapdos in the back that are both fully weak to electric. So if I get my stuff up fast enough, he's scared. Also, we got our Pikachu now. Uh, the gong rings out, and there goes in our Pikachu. Awesome. Uh, it's it's so beautiful. It's honestly so gorgeous. The reason I made the second account, the reason its name may also look weird to you is because literally I just kept making accounts and then just making random names on them just to constantly re-roll every single time I would do in different languages and stuff like that. I was just trying to get good cards uh, because I never did that with my main account. So I was just re-rolling until I got this. And not only does this one have a golden Pikachu, a crown Pikachu, it also has a crown Charizard. But I'm still working on getting a Moltres for that deck and everything as well. But if you want to see that later on, God, it is so sunny outside for being winter. But if you want to see that later on, just let me know and I will make that. Um, but we get taken out there by that Pikachu after hitting it down to 80. And if this Pikachu, well, it can't switch out. Uh, but I can just put my Gong Pikachu in, and <laughs> then all of a sudden, this is a very winnable situation. If he puts Voltorb in, then Voltorb dies in an instant, and then if he puts in any of his Zapdoses, those Zapdos get hit down to death range. So no matter what, I win this one purely from taking out this Pikachu right here. Bink! And now... It's just his choice. Does he want to get taken out by me killing the Electrode? Or does he want to get taken out by me taking down his Zapdoses? And what does he choose? He chooses Electrode. <laughs> oh, jeez. But, yeah. So, it's very simple overall. Pikachu decks have always been very easy. And I think that Pokemon Company also knows this as well. Because what, what are the gold cards that you can get? What are the perfect, amazing crown cards that you can get? Pikachu, Charizard, and also Mewtwo. What are the strongest decks in the games? Pikachu, Charizard, Mewtwo. So, of course, they are going to make these cards the most special, the most sought after, and the most wanted, and the best decks. And so, yeah, we did that, and... Woo! But yeah, the name of this account will change. Uh, I just, I made it a while back, and so I need to you know, actually, actually, uh, wait the 30 days before I am able to do that. Just like my main account right now, it's Xerax. I'm going to be making that one a Lecky. Uh, I actually can change that. I'm going to change that when I get off of this video. Uh, but I, 
Um, yeah, I just need to change my uh, accounts to be more zoned in toward this channel, especially since I'm making videos again, which it's very nice. I thank you all so much for the nice comments, uh, the nice like thoughts on my videos, enjoying the decks that I make. It really is helpful for me to at least see that you guys are enjoying what I'm doing so then I can keep on producing stuff to make you guys enjoy it, continue to enjoy what I'm doing. Um, but we got our Golden Pikachu in right now. A great start off. The only sketchy thing is this deck. It being a punchy type deck and it is super effective to my electrics. So I need to somehow work stuff out. I only have second evolutions in my hand which is pretty good if I keep pulling first evolutions, but I don't have I don't have Pokeballs and I don't have Professor's Researches. So right now I'm really struggling to get anything out on the board. I just have Pikachu here. It's also that I'm first turn, which is also a huge issue because they get energy first, they get to attack me first, and they're super effective to me. So I am just completely screwed if he does even more. Right now we're at 90. If it turns into a sand slash, then I'm just instantly screwed. But if it if it's if it still stays a sand true, I'm able to at least survive one more attack. I'm just very scared of the possibility of a sand slash. And right now we only got an X speed on that draw, so that we're unable to put in anything else. So it's just very sketchy at the moment. Uh, he plays a Pokeball. Um, I am just on the concede screen right here, just in case, because if he gets Sand Slash, I'm just instantly leaving and going to another battle. <laughs> uh, but this is just what I think about all the time. If he has this, this, and this, then I'm screwed. If he has this and this, then I can still work with it, but I need to do this and this. Uh, so he does attack me, I get rid of the concede screen, and then it goes to our turn where we do get a Voltorb. We have some sign of life. We do have X speed, so I'm able to X speed my Pikachu out from front and put in Voltorb instead just to be safe. Because if this Pikachu goes down, that is an instant loss, honestly. I'm basically just screwed from now on if this Pikachu goes down. So we put Voltorb in, we put an electric energy on him, and then we just start smacking. Let's smack the sand through for 20, and we do have an electrode as well inside our pocket, inside our deck. And so we are able to uh, insert our hand. That's what it's called. So we're able to use that next turn. And so right now we're just waiting for him to play different stuff, seeing if he does have something that he can use or if I'm actually able to get the upper hand for once. Uh, because, yeah, our draws are just really bad at the start of the game, but we are actually coming back now, which is very nice to see. Uh, he does move into Jigglypuff instead, so he still did not get the Sand Shrew. That is the whole key to this game, is him just not drawing that freaking Sand Shrew. Uh, which, I think at this point, he had 8 cards and I had 13 cards left in my deck, or something crazy like that. But we are going to make this online and take out this Jigglypuff. And at least we get something. And then, if this gets taken out, uh, if our Electrode gets taken out, our Pikachu only does 30 damage if it hit, tries to hit anything. So then we're going to have to just gear up our Zapdos, but right now this is the only shot that we have to take out anything. So that's what we're going to be doing. Um, so that's down, and now what does he throw in? Throw in. Does he throw in Menfu? Does he throw in Pidgey? Does he throw in Sandshrew again? If he throws in Sandshrew, then that's awesome, because we can just instantly take that out. Uh, but instead he throws in Menfu. And does he have the evolution, is the question. Okay, he throws in Onyx to probably tank later on if needed. And so we're going to keep that in the back of our mind. If we take out this, the Onyx will most likely go in since it's the only thing that can take this amount of damage from Electro uh, or from Pikachu. And we do get a Professor's Research, which is awesome because that brings us both Blitzel and Pikachu Two cards that we can place in at any time, so even if Electrode gets taken out, we still have two more cards to replace this one card with and make Pikachu hit 90 damage. And also we have a Sabrina in the back, which also gives us a lot of options for what to do. If he puts Onyx in the front, then I just Sabrina it, put it into the back, and get a new Pokemon out front that is able to be taken out with a 90 damage attack. And so his Onyx does have two energies on it, 
And there is my daughter. What's going on, baby girl? <laughs> yeah, pretty pretty Christmas tree. She wanted to look at the Christmas tree. But yeah, we're just uh, finishing up this. He has two energies on him. And then it's our turn. And what we do here is we <laughs> take out... Uh, we take out Voltorb just to place it on the bench, and then we X-Speed to then move Electrode, even though Electrode doesn't even need an X-Speed, it just literally retreats itself, uh, but that was just my bad, I just did not mean to play that, that was actually just stupidity, I could have just said, oh, it was all my plan, I just wanted to flex, but no, it's, it's purely just dumb dumb brain. <laughs> But we Sabrina take out the back line into the front, into the active Pokemon slot. And then Hitmonchan goes out and Pikachu smacks it down. Absolutely smacks it. <laughs> yeah, you want to come in? Okay. <laughs> and that is the victory for us. And now I shall show you the deck. All right, this is the deck right here. We have Voltors, Blitzels, Electrodes, uh, Zeb, Zeb Strikers, uh, and then everything else in between. I hope that you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please support the channel, leave a like, and I will see you guys around later. Also, join my Discord if you want to offer me some sort of cards and different decks that I can play. Peace out.